Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it is time once again to play video games with me. Or, I suppose, more accurately, for me to play video games with you. Since I'm playing the game and you're just kind of there. That's not true. I do sometimes have some very talkative viewers. Looks like a quiet one tonight, though. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick up where I left off. Eventually, eventually I will have finished playing this game, but today, it's probably not that day. Who knows, though. Ever since I played this in Early Access, I've had this inability to tell exactly how long its story is. It's always been way longer than I expect. <clears throat> anyway. The barrels from your trip have arrived. We have almost everything we need to file a case against Amanatides, but there's this one piece still missing. To secure evidence for a connection to the drug lab in Muratori, we need to download their communication data. It's transmitted from the mall, but encrypted through multiple antennas, so we need free line of sight to the van and all antennas within range to get simultaneous coverage. Can you find a way to get good coverage with the surveillance van? That's interesting. This is a new mission type. I have not gotten to uh, do this before. I suppose the most effective means by which I could ensure that uh, the transmitter van has perfect coverage is just to level the entire place, drop it uh, completely until it's flat to the ground. I wonder if I can use that crane. That's the first time I've seen anything that big uh, that might be a usable vehicle. Can I use the van? I can. Okay, that's promising. And I'm going to sneeze, which is terrible. Or am I? Oh god, I'm not going to sneeze. I'm going to get that terrible situation where the sneeze builds up inside your upper sinuses and it just sits there like a, like a resentful storm cloud between your eyes. Oh, it's awful. Anyway, I should look at what the resistance is going to be on this mission, actually. Fire alarm, wired alarm bro boxes, breaking alarm box, or wire triggers the alarm. Okay. So effectively, they've given me one, two, three, four, five points that I cannot destroy. If I break stuff at these exact points, the alarm will go off. So my objective is going to be to get the van into a position where I can get line of sight to each of these five points. So I imagine if I just drive it over here and then punch through enough walls, I will have completed the mission. Which is probably not an elegant way to do it, but it is also probably the easiest way to do it. Um, and as we all know, I'm easy and not elegant. I wonder if there's any new treasure in this half-built building. It's been pretty fun to watch this uh, uh, housing development go up over the over the months, session to session, ever since your first unwise decision to uh, take money in exchange for doing vandalism. Which, I say is an unwise decision, but to be honest, if I could get paid to do vandalism, I probably would uh, would accept that option also. Can I use this? Oh, I hope I can. No, it's inactive. That's such a shame. After giving such a verisimilitudinous world throughout the entire game previously, the ability to uh, use anything that looks like a vehicle to um, pick up things, to interact with things. Such a shame that this is just... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Luckily, I pulled off the old parkour trick of uh, if you're in a falling elevator, why don't you jump just before you hit the ground? Um, and I did not, in fact, die. I really want to cut that off. I really want to cut that off. Ugh, that's, that's tempting. I'm actually going to do that. Why not? Oh, 
There's no button to bring that back down. That seems ill-considered by the people who designed this machine. Ooh, basement. Basements is where treasure is. Except in this specific instance. I wonder how many missions there are left. I keep thinking, oh, it must be nearly over, and then it then it has another one. Hey, it's weed. Love to see gamers against weed. Oh, hey, there's a lifting, lifty lift, right here. This one's slow. Uh, so yeah, I've just started, and for today's mission, we are once again at the mall. I was disappointed to discover that you can't control that crane. It's got a lift that goes up and down, but uh, there's no button to call the lift back once you've sent it up, except for this, which apparently isn't a, isn't a button. Oh, also, now that you're here, you can let me know if my, my volumes and stuff are okay. I watched back last stream's footage and I found that I had my mic set up wrong, because it was all loud and scratchy. So I've been trying to rectify that a bit. Game volume and me volume. Are they in balance? Are there problems? Inquiring minds want to know, and by inquiring minds, I mean me specifically. Alright, that should be fine then. Oh, look. It's everybody's friend, Giant Crane. I love Giant Crane. Oh, shit. Here's an idea. I could pick up... I could pick up the van with giant crane and lift it so that it's got better line of sight because in this mission the job is to get that van to have line of sight on six different points in the map means that if I play my cards right, I can make my job way easier. Actually, I should probably put that down. I should, I should probably drive it into position and then lift it up. That would be a smarter way to go about it, generally speaking. There we go. Anyway, as I said, mission today is... Get these five points be visible from a single point and put that van in said point. It did just say line of sight, so I'm I'm struggling to see what the uh, what the catch is going to be really. Because oh, I can reposition this one if I wanted to. I can pick that up and move it because it's stuck to one of these, which is mobile. That one over there is not movable, because if I detach that from its attachment to the ground, it'll go off. What are the other ones? We've got one on the front of the building. Right, so I can get those three pretty easily. How, do I, how can I tell if they're in line of sight? Make sure each antenna is within range and has free line of sight. Oh, okay, so what's the range? Maybe if I get the van close enough, it'll start downloading. Well, no, because it should be close enough to this one. Unless that's just an alarm. Is that just an alarm? Oh, that's nothing. That's... <clears throat> that's a red herring. Okay, so that's line of sight. <clears throat> Simultaneously. Oh, okay. 
So does that mean if I get far enough away, that will break and it will uncomplete the objective? Yeah, okay. Alright. So in that case, I need to get this into position where I can hit these. I need to see if either of these are mobile first, I think. I love that they bothered to add functional um, rotating doors. I always used to get stuck in those. I remember years ago when my granddad was ill. The hospital he was in had uh, these enormous rotating doors at the front, which presumably was so that um, people weren't touching the doors. Um, but if you got into them and like pushed them manually, you could spin them <laughs> spin them round fast. So me and my brothers, we just went in. And we would uh, try and make the doors spin as fast as possible and get in trouble for that, because it turns out that's generally an unwise thing to do. Right, that one's immobile. Which leaves that one. I generally struggle to feel like doors are uh, to feel like doors are justifiable. Okay, so that's on the outside of the building. So if I want line of sight, that's on the outside and that's on the outside. But it's too far away from these anyway. So I guess if I drive the van to like here and then punch a hole through enough walls, I can see that, but I'll have to punch through that wall from the other side carefully and only make a small hole. I think that has to be the answer here. I may as well bring the, uh, the portable one over while I'm at it. Hmm, I might need my gun this time, actually. God, I want to knock that down so bad. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to knock it down. I won't, I won't need my rocket launcher today. <laughs> oh, it had a thing. I should have broken that one first. Oh, well. You know what? I think I'm going to do that anyway. Because what's the point in being a vandal if you can't have fun with it? I know you were... Uh, I know you only paid me to steal the data, but I threw in a quick uh, little crane demolition pro bono. Oh, I should park something under it. I'm going to park like a mini or something underneath. This is how we collect Christmas trees in, in Lokel. The old, the old shotgun tradition. You blast them at the root and then you drag them away manually by hand and put them in the back of a uh, dump truck. It's not unlike the American tradition, uh, except that unlike the American tradition it involves more firearms, which is unusual as far as American traditions go. Oh look, there's even a, there's even a patch of no snow where the snow's been blocked by the uh, the counterweights on the back of the crane. That's cute. You know what that is? Not really environmental storytelling, but it's environmental something. All right, let's go. Hello, acrylic spatter. Welcome to this. I'm about to squash that mini. <laughs> I'm about to squash that mini with this counterweight on the back end of this Sadly, non-usable crane. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Still drivable. 
That's uh, that's the resilience of. Uh, I was going to say German engineering, but I'm thinking of a. God, what are the little lumpy German German vehicles called? I've completely forgotten. Um, but it may be. Uh, yeah, Volkswagen Beetle. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, but I think that may have been a, a mini, a mini Cooper. Twee British vehicle, beloved of uh, people who like movies with uh, Michael Caine in them. That involve uh, providing oral sex to Jim Morrison. Ooh, risky. Risky, risky, risky. I need to get rid of that. I love the I love the physics. I love the destruction. I love the believable ways things crunch and collapse. Love a concrete pole that gets busted. Right, what the hell was I doing? I need to get this to somewhere. And I can't detach the thing from the thing. Yep, yeah, okay. Risky, risky, risky. Actually, if I lifted it from the... If I can get that to tip over backwards. And then I lift it from the front, it'll be way safer. Come on. Come on, tip over. Well, that didn't work. Oh, but I can... Aha, yes, if I back the truck up... Then I can use everybody's friend, Mr. Giant Crane. Thusly. And pick it up closer to where I'm trying to pick it up from. Eek. Seems risky. Uh, oh, I know what might help. If I get the old cables out. Because that's what everybody com comes to Twitch streaming for, right? Cable TV. sort of attach these on wiggly like then they should be safer and I should be okay I'm a genius the elasticity of cables absolutely what we needed here Hi, Lily the Third. I've discovered a new invention that I, I'm going to call Guy Ropes. You may, you may, if you're familiar with construction or the like, be already familiar with Guy Ropes. But, sadly, that's just an illusion that exists in your mind. Oh god. We're alright, it's okay, we're all fine. <laughs> Okay, if I line that up here, that looks alright. That's probably going to be visible where I need it to be visible from. Line of sight, bitches. In the land of the blind, the man who has a multi-purpose omnidirectional radio frequency antenna is king. You are not familiar with guy ropes. Well, see, the fun thing about guy ropes is that a guy rope is technically a rope that is used as a flexible medium of support for uh, a physical object. So, um, if you ever see, if you ever see like a, a flagpole that's got ropes tying it to the ground to help support it and keep it upright in strong winds, those are called guy ropes. However, the other thing about guy ropes is that. 
Um, it's a very funny thing to say. Because, let's be honest, I've never been shy about making cum jokes on this channel. So if I wanted to, I could set up a bunch of explosives. And then, no, I shan't. Anyway, um, where's the thing I need to get? Okay, so that needs to be there. So if I smash my way through this entire wall, bit by bit, I should be able to li make line of sight work. I feel like it's fun that they occasionally do just give you a mission that lets you go sick house with regards to the demolition aspect. I don't think it's I don't think it's conceivably possible at all to get line of sight through the building without uh, causing some problems of a fissile nature. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, the shockwave must- oh, that explosion was just far enough to knock it loose. That's a shame. Alright, well this time I'll remember to save before I start blasting. Which is also something people say about guy ropes. Uh, you know, it was so satisfying when I dropped that, um... When I did that mini crush, I think I'm gonna do that again. I can even do it in a slightly more elegant manner this time. All right, we switched, we, we crushed the uh, the Mini Cooper last time. What should we crush this time? What vehicle is most deserving of this blessed and holy sacrament? We got horrible American boutique pickup truck with a bed length that's a tiny fraction of the size of its four-door sedan interior. Everybody hates those, right? We've got the humble chugga-chug tractor. Yes, I think the tractor deserves the Blessed Sacrament. Wait, no, hang on. The only thing greater than a, than a chugga-chugga tractor is the humble food tr food truck. I'm 100% going with the taco truck. Taco truck gonna get crushed. It's even got a flappy sign. That's so good. Hey, it's Girl Like Substance. Welcome to the stream. We always love to have you here. Um, you missed me joking about the locale tradition being uh, that, much like the American Christmas tree tradition, only with more shotguns, which is unusual for Americans. Anyway, we're about to um, unleash the, the blessed sacrament upon this, uh, this taco truck, the most deserving and holy of all small vehicles. I've got to make sure I have it the right way round so that we can see the taco sign uh, when the blessed smash crement plummets down upon it. There we go, that looks well lined up. That's going to spoil the view. came up here previously, it's it's fun that it has a functional lift, although you can't bring it back down once you take it up, um, except by using this switch, which means that if you're at the bottom you can't bring it back down, which is heartbreaking, frankly. Uh, but yeah, you can get up and get up here, but then these, these buttons don't work. They went to the bother of putting in controls where the crane controls should be, but then you can't actually use the damn things. It's heartbreaking. All right, this should work. Although I suppose, actually, hmm, maybe not. I, I might have messed up the blessed sacrament of the uh, crushed truck. 
because the shock wave of that nitroglycerin might make the concrete blocks fall too far to the left. Yeah, there was too much lateral motion. Oh, heartbreaking. Oh, well. Well, we'll always have the memory of the crushed Mini Cooper that we did earlier. Yeah, who knew? Who knew that Taco Taco built their trucks so solid? Anyway, time to resume my, resume my actual ridiculous mission, which involves um, stuff, mostly, and also things. Can I pull this over? Because if I can get this knocked over, it'd be so much easier. Oh, hang on, what if I use the old cables? That might work. Ha <laughs> ha! Shit. Okay, interesting. Huh, interesting. That's a very interesting piece of information I've just discovered. What the fuck? <laughs> I really didn't think that would happen. I thought that separating that in any way from its uh, physical parent object would result in it uh, going off and the alarm going off, but no, here it is. Which means I can wiggle it inside and attach it to the wall with planks much more stably. Which is a shame, because I was carrying that dangling freely previously. After attaching it with cables to the to that thing, and it was a really lovely kind of like cat's cradle situation. <clears throat> so it's such a shame to have lost that little joy, but you know what? That will be on the VOD, so it's all okay. Lift. I'll probably still do a bit of that, actually. If I bring that back down to make it a bit more stable, then lift it up a little bit more. Oh, it's got this one. Attaching it to the ground. Twang. There really ought to be easier ways up. Now, I may just be a humble city lawyer rather than a wise country crane manufacturer, but I think... Being able to get at this stuff would have been a pretty good idea. There we go, lifted up all snug. Ready to get brought home safe. By everybody's friend, Giant Crane. Giant Crane, the uh, little known third Fraser Crane brother. Oh god, is it going to fall out? No, I think we're alright. Alright, I can leave that there. <laughs> and... Gently, gently, carefully, carefully snip these away. Is it stuck on something still? Uh, that's fine. You know what? Dangling free in the air is the way these things were meant to be. Um, I feel like there's a connection to the guy ropes, uh, guy ropes gag there somewhere, but I will leave it to the viewer's discretion to make it. See, the tragic thing there is that I've never actually seen Bonanza. So unfortunately I can't get your joke. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to make a new one. 
All right, now the real demolition comes. Um, right, first save. Then we start bombing. I tried to think of a more elegant solution, but this is the demolitions game, so I'm going to demolitions. If I can make enough of a fuss. I should be able to get line of sight to the outside over here, but I'm going to be careful. I should probably go from the outside in so that I don't set that loose like I did the last time. Although, hang on, what happens if I separate it from the wall? Because the one I did before didn't go off. The one attached to the, uh, the doodad, the portal cabin. <gasps> Amazing! Okay, this, this suddenly, uh, suddenly this is a whole different ball game. This is no longer, like, this just is, this, this just isn't cricket, as they say. God damn, okay, this is way easier than I thought it was. See, every single other time we've ever had to deal with, um... Alarms attached to walls like that. Detaching it has caused it to... Oh, but... Oh, I'm, I see, I see what I didn't understand. These are not attached to... The hell? Oh, there we go. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, that was that was fairly obvious that that would happen. You can all make fun of me in your own time. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> previously, these things have been attached on little standy things, and that's what I was thinking of. Which means, okay, I just need to figure this out. I can probably just drive that in through the holes and then it'll be okay. It was bound to happen, yes. <laughs> Very good, two points to Wuxrov. Okay. So the issue is, okay, now if I go back up, if I go up to, the, up, up to a higher story, I can do this safely. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but your server infrastructure is in my way. Oops, fuck. Definitely think I'm going to need to drive the truck inside for make to make this work. So that's going to be like a line of sight down across the mezzanine. Gamers, you're going to have to explain that one to me. I see no connection between this and cookie blogs. Yeah, if I get all of this crap out of the way. Ah, see that one's lined up already, okay. I think 
I'll drive it in. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, you know what? It serves them right. I wish you could upgrade the power of the leaf blower further. It fails to lift enormous chunks of concrete, which is really disappointing. That's a, oh, that's attached at the bottom, which means I can do this. Safely. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, shit. Okay, right. Way more of these are mobile than I thought they were. I think I need to rearrange my plan a little bit. I think I'm going to drive the... Drive that in here first. this crap out of the way and then I drive it inside I can bring those further forwards so the only things in fact all of the outdoor ones are mobile which I didn't realize previously I thought I wouldn't be able to move this one very interesting very interesting indeed which means I could drive that inside and then just knock a hole through from the inside down diagonally like that which could be way easier than smashing the whole facade I keep discovering ways to have to do less destruction in this in this demolition themed video game. All right, what? Well, it looks like my main, my main limiting factor is this one over here. So if I can blast all this shit out of the way, then I can figure out how close I need to be. And then I can bring the rest of them up to match. Good thing I have a huge number of bombs. Ceilings aren't important anymore. Okay, I do actually have to be careful here. Server racks are a mugs game. Yep, that looks all good. Okay. So I suppose, actually, if I... Think about this. <laughs> I could attach that like that and then break it free in order to bring it inside where it'll be nice and safe and then it won't fall down like it did before. Uh, this fire is becoming a problem. I love to be clever. This really is the game of making problems for yourself. Such as methylisio... Methylisi fuck. Too many particles in your lungs disease. Which nobody likes to have. And yet people insist on getting all downtime. Okay, so that's there. So I want a line of sight down there. Okay, so it has line of sight now. I guess that's just not close enough. Or is it blocked? That looks unblocked, so it must be range, right? That's the issue here. Oh, the fire's going off again.
This wouldn't be such a problem if uh, American building practices ha weren't beginning to infect the entire rest of the world with their incredible, inexplicable reliance on uh, petrochemicals. Because the oil industry has to have its due, which means that we now make buildings out of... Uh, extremely flammable wood pulped and then stuck back together with petrochemical derived glue. Okay. Or at least the Americans do. Um, anyway. Okay, fire is out. Great. Okay, so now I've got line of sight, which means all I need to do is figure out how close I can get this van. There we go. Squibbly green. If I inch it back a little bit, it looks like that's about the best I can do. And then I can just bring these as close as possible. Quick save. Cheeky quick save rather than forgetting like I keep normally doing. Do 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 do. Oh, look, we've got connection already. Grand. Okay. Which means I need to bring this one in now, which means I can just drive this a bit closer. I appear to have lost connection to chat. I hope that doesn't result in my whole stream losing connection or something. I'm so glad that I have a more sensible setup now where I can actually see what people are saying. Okay. Alright, that should be... Oops, I've knocked this over, but that's okay. We can solve any problem here today. Alright, that's three. I'm missing the one on the front of the building and the one on the back of the building. The front should be easiest. I love that I've realized that it's just easier to obey the the dictates of the uh, rotating doors. Like, it's just easier to give in and uh, go through them properly than to try and remove them. Alright, if I, if I time this right, this should be great. I failed to time this right. Now, what I was trying to do, <laughs> what I was trying to do there was blast this out and then grab it manually, which is harder than it looks. Although I notice it didn't go off this time. Well, you know, a problem saved, solved the wrong way, is still a problem solved. Or there is no wrong way to solve a problem, or whatever else it is people say. Well, I caught that one, but it was too heavy. Alright, that's all of them. Fantastic. Time to leave. i got to say, I really like this new mission type. This is a clever idea, and it's fun. But I think this one was way too easy. It's very obvious what to do, and just a matter of doing it, as they say. Time to leave. If they're still throwing new mission types at me, I can't be close to the end, right? Oh! Oh, is he Jewish? That's cute. It's a nice little, nice little hint. Or maybe he's like, I mean, candy canes are a Christmas thing, right? Or do, oh, hang on, no, European, there's like European Christmas candle holder thingies that look like menorahs, aren't there? Because this is in 
Europe, ostensibly, I guess. Um, or perhaps there's just every holiday decoration put in here. Or it's, pro it's probably a Christmas thing, right? I don't know. Um, Earth holidays are a bit beyond me. Anyway, who has... Oh, okay, actually, even people who, like, super care about Christmas, who puts giant plastic candy canes in their living room when they live basically by themselves? That's smacks of solipsism, if you ask me. Maybe they're real candy canes. Oh, hell yeah. Chandelier? This dude keeps upgrading his living space. His, his, our male living space just keeps getting more and more impressive. Seems like a big box to put a t-shirt in. Oh, they had, they have things on. To Tracy, it's kind of fantastic. They put music in a piece of plastic. <laughs> Who is this man? Who is this bizarre fellow? He doesn't know what CDs are. Or maybe he does and he's just being funny. Coconut in this one. Who was this one for? To Tracy, it's a nut from far away and I didn't even have to pay. To Tracy, for when you relaxed in your Sunny Max. You know what? This is a, this is a, this is a, a good, polite young man who loves his granny. Or his mother, rather. What was this one? Sunscreen, right, of course. What a weird, like, what? How peculiar. Three giant presents with, like, a local music CD for the town they live in. Some sunscreen and a coconut. Merry Christmas, I guess. Anton Wolf leaving construction. Some maniac tore down half the mall yesterday. Aw, <laughs> who, me? They're shutting down for renovation and cancelled my contract for the parking garage. It's been a terrible year all along. I've decided to leave construction and open a pawn shop. That's why I'm contacting you. They're having a massive closing down sale at the mall today and every soul in Locale is there. I was thinking you could play, pay first from a rivet and help me stock the pawn shop. Oh, fun. I think it was previously that we uh, looted the shit out of the town of Frustrum. We get to see it in the snow today, so that's nice. Fire alarm, wide alarm boxes, breaking alarm box triggers the alarm. Okay, so basically... I mean, I think this guy has failed to understand how, how, how a pawnbroker's shop is supposed to work. Traditionally, when one opens a pawnbroker's, people bring things to you. And you pay them a fraction of what it, what the value is, and you give them a little ticket, and if they come back before the time is up, they get to have it back, and if they don't, you keep it. Like, traditionally, one does not stock a pawn shop. The, the sales is secondary. It's short-term loans that's the primary business of a pawnbroker's. The sales are simply to recoup losses of uh, people who fail to come back and, and repay their loans. Is there a staircase? How do I get to the second story of this building? Ah, aha. No lock can stop me, for I have a small handgun. Here's a little hint, kids. That works in real life, too. Okay. Fax machine. I should be able to dangle that out the window enticingly. I say, I say window. I mean a hole I just shot in the wall with a big shotgun. Which is a bit like a window. Okay. That's one, I guess. These might all be lined up, which means I'm going to have to plot a route. I'm gonna, it's probably going to be fairly vehicle heavy, right? Because I could grab that and then drive, boom, straight through to here, grab that one, drive on. I think this is, I think this, the core of this level is going to be developing a, a straight line from one point to another by which I can grab all the things I want to grab. Just straight grinching it today. Looking out the window, like, why, boy, what day is it today? It's Christmas Eve, Mr. Demolitions Man. Then I haven't missed it. Quick, fetch my dynamite. OK. 
Okay, so I could grab that and then immediately jump into a car and then drive. The fact that this one's furthest away feels like it's a good, a good point for that. On the other hand, there's my exit, right? So maybe I should start over here. I could start over here, grab these, drive around here, grab these, drive here, grab this, drive back. And I could prep multiple cars to do that. I think that, that might be my smartest route, actually. I think I'm going to start planning based around that route. For all the additional mo mission types they keep uh, loading us down with, I'll be honest, I do really enjoy just the classic make yourself a manual speedrun route. And then do that speedrun successfully. Should be using e even easier now that we have the speed potion as well. Up to, up to four charges of it. Right, okay. What's that? A Bunderman boombox. Can I get a car lined up on this side? Probably, probably not, right? Yeah, I think that's unlikely. So what I should do instead is clear all this shit out of the way. Oh, hello. Missed that when I was, uh... Stealing shit. Uh, right, so if I grab that and then get in a car, I can just drive through all of these walls if I bomb out all of these walls. So I think that's gonna be my plan here. Make a, make a series of large holes and then move myself through them. Which is this, this, just this game in a nutshell, really. I suppose I could burn the rest of the building down. <laughs> might might take a bit long. That's my main that's my main the main reason I won't be doing that. Moral quandaries? No, no interest in those. However. Is that attached to the wall? Oh, there was a car in here. I should have gotten rid of that first. That would have been smart. But then, if I was smart, I wouldn't be in demolitions for a living. Wowzers, look at this thing. This is that baby purr. Good lord. Who keeps, like, a extremely fancy sports car in their shitty wooden garage where, I, where anybody like me can come in and smack holes in it? Whenever I get a nice big pile of stuff going with this leaf blower, I feel like, uh... I feel like the prince from Katamari. I get that little song going in my head, like... Katamari <sighs> Damasi. But we can't all be the prince of all cosmos, can we? I should probably put that out. Jesus! Oh, there was there was there was like a whole nother fire going on. Who could have guessed? Right, leaf blower. All right, that seems promising. I'll just smother the last few embers here before they get going. Okay. I see no reason not to use the cool sports car for this. I might need to get some of this crap out of the way because there's no ground clearance on them. Which 
which means they get stuck on debris very easily. If I wanted to, I could even put some of those vehicle boosters on it. Get me going extra speedy. Alright. I might need to swap this for a more stable vehicle, but uh, I think it's going to be fine for trying now. Let's see how well we do. Yeah. Yeah, I can bomb that out of the way and then I can grab that one. Yep, that's promising already. Beats walking, as they say. Can I leaf blower a tree? No, it's too big. Too big and heavy. I can, however, leaf blower most of a tr most of a tree. Right, let's get this out of the way. Oh yeah, have you not seen me use the snowblower in a in a winter level yet? It's really cute, yeah. Um, you also leave your footprints. Wherever you've been, there's a little trail of randomly sized footprints, see? It's delightful. And the cars leave tracks, and if you drive a car um, that, that's been there for a while, you can see that there's a, a hole in the snow where the snow's been blocked. It's extremely cute. Very adorable. You can also use it to blow stuff that's floating on the water, which is fun. Oh, huh. <laughs> it blew something hard enough that it knocked, knocked the bottom out of this tree. Which is slightly irritating. Into the canal with you. The last resting place of all true debris. Where's this one? Mosby Amplifier, second floor, three meters up. down can that go? That's about that distance, so I could have that dangle down to about there if I was careful. And I provide it a slightly more stable fulcrum. There we go. I'm dead clever, me. Right, so I can grab that one. Grab that, hop back in my car. Yep, that looks promising so far. Cheeky quick save. So I drive to here, grab that, hop back in my car. Hopefully I've aimed my car slightly more better. It might be too powerful for its own good. I don't think I can take this curve with it. <laughs> well. Which means I should probably use that for the ending sprint, so I know where I need to put it in advance. In fact, I should, there's plenty of cars on this level, so I should probably prep two cars here. If I bring this around this corner, and then I park it here, and I can just bomb right along this straight away, 
right to the exit and then leave. So I have a different car here to get from here to here. I think that's smart. Um, right, or honestly, I, I could probably just crush a blue soda. That would work as well. Huh, there seem to be fewer cars than I remember. That's okay, though. I'll put that here. I'll crush a blue soda to get between points. That will be all good. I'm not super fond of crunchy voxel uh, art, but I do, I do think there's a prettiness to this game, which I think is good. Good, good game. Nice to watch. Pretty to look at. All right, let's use this sedan first, and then swap it for the Range Rover or Jeep or whatever that is. That one. I might be missing one car. I might need one more car than I have. And another one if I fail to get that removed. Good lord. That's that car lined up, so car A to there, car B along here, much faster than walking, round the awkward corner, across here, then over here we've got, I'll grab this one, this one, this one, and this one, I may as well grab those on foot probably, I can crunch more sodas. Then after I grab that one, I hop in a car to take me to here, grab that one, then there. Okay, so I need one more car lined up, or a non-car vehicle that I plant a bunch of jet engines onto. I see a dump truck, that will do. Planning, that's all that really matters. When you are a professional larcenist. Which is a term I made up recently, which is someone who is an arsonist who does larceny. Or indeed larceny, which is the combination of the two. Wait, no, larceny is just what it's called when you do larceny. Oh well, we all can't be word arsonists. Which is guys who are so good at words that they ignite the page. Very few of them around. Six boosters is probably enough. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Seems promising. Let's plant a couple more of these bad boys on the back here. Uh oh That's okay, we won't be going up. Well, hopefully. Uh, right. So, I need to try and make a good path to this one now. I've only used them, like, twice, because they're not very useful most of the time. Um, but because I ran out of other things to upgrade, I did upgrade them a bit. They're like the rocket engines, except that you, if you, when you plant them on the thing, you can, uh, uh, they last infinitely. Um, it, it basically just power improves the power of your uh, movements. Oh, attic, is it? I see how it is. What kind of asshole alarms their skis?
As we all know, skis are timid beasts and not respond well to being alarmed. Alright, I can run up here, grab that. Then I'll turn right and go through the wall. And then I can just jump straight out to down here and grab wherever the thing is in here, which is on my, there it is. I mean, okay, but, I mean, given the extent of my highly destructive, uh, thieving escapades over the course of this campaign, why even bother to alarm them at this point? Is it for the insurance? Like, you have to show that you were at least trying? Right, so I got that. Then I can go through here and grab this one. Out through here. And grab this one. which is up here. It's a big TV. Everyone loves a big TV. Grab the big TV, then I turn this way and I go through this wall. I love the way the corners stick together. It gives it a very sort of realistic sort of building stickiness. The way that if you ever tried to like move bits of masonry, they like, they do feel like that sometimes. Things get caught on things. Right up here. Along here, down here. Over here. Grab that one out of here, straight into the van which will be here. Which will then bomb forwards through this building, which I think I might just demolish entirely. Oh, I should have gotten that little, uh... Actually, I should have thought to look in garages. There might be cars in garages, right? There's, uh... Little, uh... Little forklifts. I think I've got the timing on this one pretty, pretty solid. Hey, can I? Haha, <laughs> nice. I'm glad that works. God, the momentum on this thing is huge. I think I need to move this out of the way, though. Uh, let's see. Cables can probably do it. They have a lot of elastic power. Oh, hell yeah. I should have been... <laughs> I've slept on these. I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of use for the cable tool, but like when I do use it, it is remarkably effective sometimes. I don't need to drive through here, do I? Because I'm going up through the buildings. All right, time to prep my 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 route finally, and then I'm out of here. Oh, there was a whole van as well. Could have used that. Okay, so... Mm. 
boom, straight up like that and then on till morning. So I drive that around here, I screech to a halt here, I go up these planks. Like so. I think widening these is a good idea because often the only trouble I've had in these sorts of situations is fiddly boards that I can't quite get up. So boom, through here, through here, straight out the window down here. Create a whole bunch more yellow snow in here. I want to get uh, these out the way. Grab that, then back this way, out this door. In here, rounding up the stairs. Keep going up to this floor and then in. Get this lovely small uh, studio apartment dining table out of the way. And it seems to be fixed to the floor. Why are landlords like this? There we go, I made it a trestle. It'll be useful if you're entertaining guests. Big TV, grab the big TV, then we turn back around, go the way we came, out up here, straight up onto the roof, hop, and down we go. down again and grab this one then out the obvious hole in the wall into this truck which we prepared earlier just want to get rid of this fence so I can back up a little further these might break if I get them too close to things so Now I can back up slightly further. That's about as best we can do. So I land in that and then I drive forwards. I tidy these up a little bit more. These are what I like to think of as repositioning bombs. They don't serve a, a purpose in terms of actual destructiveness. I mean, the tool does. Uh, their usage in this particular moment is more down to me getting crap out of the way. And it is about me destroying stuff. Hello, dumpster fire. Lovely to see you. As can be seen here, the lesser spotted uh, forklift loves to form a small, small nest out of masonry debris. If there is not enough masonry debris, they will make more. As a well-constructed masonry nest is the best way to attract a suitable mate in order to continue the existence of the all-important forklift ecobiome. <clears throat> right, that's lined up. I can bomb through here. Drive like a motherfucker. Crash into here, go up these planks, grab that one, jump over here, crush a blue soda, dive into this, bomb straight to the end and we're done. 
So, time for my first actual attempt. Will I finally manage to do one of these on the first attempt? Actually, I mean, tons of these I've done on the first attempt, just not in a while. Probably don't need any more bullets, so I'm just having fun with vandalism, because why not? Everyone loves to have fun with vandalism, except the people who get vandalised. Who traditionally hate fun with vandalism, even if they do fun with vandalism in their own lives in other contexts. Right, let's give this a go. Go, 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 go. Speedy, speedy, zoom, zoom. Uh-oh. But it was okay. Did I forget a second thing? I feel like I forgot a thing. Oh shit, blue soda. Where's my blue soda? Gonna make it. Honestly, maybe I should have just gone with the blue soda the entire time. Now, where did I lose time? If I grab this one and then. Honestly, actually, shit, I know where I'm losing all my fucking time. I shouldn't be bothering to drive. I grab that, I drive through here, I grab that, I turn left, and I save some fucking time. Taking a dip in the cold, cold Lockhell River. Because if I crush a blue soda here, honestly, I will save several... I will save like 10 seconds over driving around there, because I can just crunch blue, run, come over here, jump over that table, get up here. Right up here, boom. Up here, boom. Yeah, that's... Over-reliant on vehicles, that's my way of thinking. Might be worth swapping the 4x4 for the sedan as well, if this doesn't work. Since they can get over the debris more easily. Why is my phone going off? Strangely enough, if my phone is going off because people are texting me. What are the chances? Who would do such a terrible thing? Grab, drive, go. Yeah, this thing takes, takes too long to kick off, I think. Grab. Blue soda. Speedy zoomy. Fast, fast, fast. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. I'm too fast to go through this hole also. That's still 10 seconds I've saved over my previous attempt. Okay, I can clear out this wall also. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. Um, yeah, if I swap the vehicles at the start, that'll help. And if I... Honestly, if I don't crunch... Actually, no, if I knock more holes in the ceiling, then I can get the benefit of the blue soda.
right time to make some more holes in people's ceiling let the snow in i mean really if you think about it i'm doing them a service on this christmas uh, afternoon because who wouldn't want a lovely snowy christmas in their living room All right, let me get a better line on this so I don't get twisted up turning around. Grab that. Through here, around here, up here, up here. Grab that, turn back around this way, run along here, and then I need to make this hole bigger. This hole bigger. Yes, okay. And I come out of here and into that and I boom along. And I probably need to hop out of that a few seconds sooner, but I should also have a smarter way of getting up here. Grab, jump, go. Okay, that looks fine. All right, I should be able to do it this time because I was only about three seconds slow the last time. Honestly, just, you know, practice would probably eliminate those three seconds, but why not make it a sure thing? Plus having the soda equipped first, also a good idea. Save, grab, car. Oh, that's much faster. That ain't, though. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, let's try not to do that this time. That's, that's fewer seconds. That took me longer. Hmm, that's interesting. Got to be careful about where I use the soda. Because if I'm not careful, I'll be slowed. -er. Because it boosts your momentum so goddamn much. See, I went behind the table again. How am I doing so much worse? That's bizarre. Silence of focus. I think I might make it. Come on, green supercar, don't fail me now. And there we go. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the theft is completed. Now as it was two months ago in mission one. Or, well, I guess mission like four is probably the first time to escape mission. I'm not sure. 
He's got the same three presents. He's re-wrapped them after I smashed them earlier. He's bought three presents for his mum, but there's no presents for him under this tree, are there? It is cute that they've got the little name tags and you can see what the presents are. Right, what's the next mission? Splendid work procuring that vehicle for me. I have a team working on it already. Apparently there's been a technological breakthrough at Quillez Security. One of my informants obtained some classified documentation describing a considerable leap forward at their autonomous robot research department. This technology would do wonders for my plan. They store their prototypes in secure vaults on the premises. It'd be fabulous if you could circumvent the security and provide me with a few of them. I am quite excited to show you what I'm working on. Droid prototypes kept in secure vaults. Use the heavy laser cutter to melt the vault doors. Bring at least one to the escape boat. I might or might not finish this one today because my throat's getting pretty sore. And so is my back. And I've got all kinds of terrible disabilities. Oh. Get them onto the heavy boat and get them away. But where are they? That's the nearest one. The laser cutter thing was in this mission previously. But it was like attached to a single destination. So I'd be surprised if I could uh, move it around. On the other hand, maybe I can. Maybe, maybe we can do that now. Let's have a look at the first one regardless. Looks like they're not alarmed, so it is just a matter of finding them and getting them out. Assuming they don't immediately attack me on sight. Warbots have the same kind of attitude as, like, anxious dogs. There's a lot of bark, 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 going on, you know what I mean? 27 meters down. Oh, these are the vaults that they were installing last time we did a mission here. That's cute. Oh, that's a long way down. But I'm okay. <laughs> that's the important thing. Right, same level as me. Do you behind me that way? There's the vault. So how do I get a laser to open it? That's the real question. Where even is the laser cutter? Use the heavy laser cutter to melt the vault doors. Is that it? That's, I think that's where it was last time I was in this map. And it, to be fair, it did, it did, it did heavy laser cut. There were a bunch of prisms around. Maybe, I guess this is a puzzle, really. Because there were all these prisms you could use to redirect the laser. Uh, so I suspect this is going to be a bit like the previous mission, where we had to line up the line of sight for the radio antenna. Except we're going to be... Uh, Arranging line of sight for the uh, laser cutter. Which is a pretty cool mission, but it feels like a fiddly puzzle rather than like demolition simulator, which is where this game really shines. Alright, that one to the left is going to be the easiest one. What happens if you cut the laser cutter machine? a hole through there. Oh, it is. Okay. Can that destroy bedrock? <gasps> I 
Oh, for real? Oh no, okay, it's just it's just destroying a surface layer. Okay, that's... Whew. Laws of physics still maintained. That's the important thing. Let me get that over there where I can use it. I like that I can sort of manually adjust it by fiddling it, by locking it against something and wiggling it around. That's cute. Okay, let's bring a prism with us. Do you think if they catch me um, after this mission, I'll get sent to prism? Be refracted into a maximum security prism to steal a joke from Douglas Adams. Probably use one of these instead. <laughs> yes, to reflect on my crimes. Very good. I suppose the risk here is doing too much damage accidentally by flicking the laser around and then not being able to get it where I need it to be. Like, like so. That looks near enough. Oh no, it's hitting bedrock, that's a shame. Just inch this over a little bit. That should be all right. Hi, Truck and Tazi. We're playing with fire today. I hope that didn't break anything important. Oh god! Ah, fuck. Lasers. <laughs> Surprisingly, for something so, um, you know, bounded by the by the rules of reality, highly unpredictable. Oh, okay. Concerning. Is that a f those, so those are flamethrowers. He's going to flamethrow at me. Okay. So I guess I can just lead it back to the exit. Make it chase me. Where's he going? Hey, fucko, come down here and fight me like a man. There we go. Yeah, I think you did miss a couple. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be- oh, he is hurting me. He's super hurting me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Welp. I thought I was fine, but I wasn't. Okay, that's interesting, to say the least. I wonder if it can- I wonder if it's worth trying to redirect the laser over to the first vault first. Or if I should just make a pass for them to all escape. But yes, uh, sadly, sadly, I am going to end this stream now. I'd actually really like to keep going on this mission, but I am un uncomfortably aware of uh, my body slowly breaking apart under the strain. So that's going to be it for me for today. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. 
If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.